Hey guys, this is Nelson with iOS Softmodder and today I'm going to be showing you how to prevent your iPhone running iOS 7 from overheating because I guess uh, a few people that are running the new iOS 7 Beta 1 have been have been overheating, their phone has been overheating uh, to the point where it, like, you know, it burns their hand. So I'm going to show you a few settings that you can mess around with uh, in order to prevent that from happening to you. So the first thing you want to do is uh, head over to settings go over here to privacy click on location services scroll down system services and you guys might be acquainted with this you guys might not be so i'll go through each of these and tell you what they are and which ones you can turn off so i'll get closer okay uh the first one is cell network search what this one does is it sends information to apple uh about where people use their phones the most so it they can use that to uh, build new towers, things like that. So you can turn that off if you don't really want to send them that information. Uh, the next one is compass calibration. That's for people that, uh, that want to use the compass when it comes to the maps. Uh, sometimes they can't. This, uh, it helps with uh, applications like Woos, uh, things like that. You don't really need it though. Uh, you can turn it off and you can still, you'll, you'll still be able to find your way with the maps. Uh, the next one is diagnostics and usage. That one sends uh, errors and um, issues that you have on your iPhone to Apple. Uh, Location-based iAds. Those, uh, what that one does is it, uh, any application that uses ads, if you have this on, uh, the application will know where you are, so it'll give you ads that are based around your location, so maybe your local car dealership, things like that. Uh, popular near me uh, that's a new one uh, that hasn't it doesn't even work yet on this beta version of the iOS but what it does is it'll appear in uh, up here it'll show you uh, Twitter uh, Twitter and Facebook events that your friends are locally having so things like that I have that off as well setting time zone that's if you're flying through all these time zones it might be cool to have it on but uh, you only need it on uh, once and then you can turn it back off after that because you don't I mean you're, you're not going to be flying through all these time zones unless you're famous or something uh, the next thing is traffic that'll show you live traffic on your maps uh, Wi-Fi networking what this one does is it um, it allows you to <clears throat> for lo your, lo your location will be pinpointed through access of other Wi-Fi networks so if you have no service you this uses Wi-Fi networks and other people's uh, GPS on their iPhones to locate where you are exactly and then frequent locations this one's kind of weird uh, this one, it'll just show you where you've used your internet uh, with all these dots so I don't even know why the hell I have that on but you can turn that off too so the ones that you want to turn off the most are diagnostics and usage location based iads popular near me and probably Wi-Fi networking and you can I mean you can turn all of them off you don't, really don't need any of them and the thing is with location services they they overheat your phone the most. They're the number one culprit for that. So you can just turn those off. And that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial over at iOS Softmodder. All right. Bye, guys.